What's happening guys, Sam Adams here, and today we are going to be talking about Twitch Prime. Uh, you've probably already heard of this service, it was announced at TwitchCon 2016 last weekend at the time of making this video, uh, but I wanted to specifically make this video on my channel to kind of reach out to my audience and at least let you guys know that if you are fans of Twitch and you're a fan of at least one streamer on Twitch, you're probably going to want to know what's going on with Twitch Prime, so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. So what exactly is going on? Why is Twitch Prime becoming a thing? Um, it's pretty much the first significant thing to come from the Amazon acquisition of Twitch back in 2014. And uh, I would have to say it's a pretty awesome subscription service. It's baked right into Amazon Prime, meaning that if you already have an Amazon Prime membership, you have a Twitch Prime membership. And if you do choose to buy a Twitch Prime membership, you will then have an Amazon Prime membership. They're one in the same. So it's definitely a lot of bang for your buck, especially if you're a frequent user of Amazon and Twitch like myself. So what are some of the features of Twitch Prime? Why should you go out and buy this if you don't already have it? Uh, number one, ad-free viewing just like people have with Twitch Turbo. Now this is not uh, directly phasing out Twitch Turbo, at least not yet, because Twitch Prime is only available in seven countries, I believe, at the time of making this video. So as that does start to kind of branch out to different parts of the world, Twitch Turbo is probably going to become a thing of the past. However, if you already have Turbo, your subscription is still valid. It still works. You still get all the emotes and all the uh, custom colors and stuff in chat, you still get all the benefits of having that subscription if you do have that. Now, on top of that, you also get skins, characters, boost, and free games every month. Now, the ones that are included right now with the program are bonuses for Smite and Paladins, which are pretty much just skins and stuff you can use in the game to change your aesthetic... Um, you know, how you look within the game itself. Uh, you get a new Hearthstone hero by the name of Tira Tirande, Tira Harambe, T Tyrand Whisperwind. I'm not really sure what that is, but it's a new Hearthstone hero, which I suppose is pretty cool. I'm, uh, I've played Hearthstone like three or four times in my life. It's a great game, so if you're a fan of Hearthstone, you'll probably like that. And then you get a free copy of Streamline and like 20-some pieces of in-game, uh, you know, stuff you can use to customize your character. But Streamline is an interesting game. Uh, it's pretty much made with broadcasters and their audience as at the core of the development, meaning that the audience can pretty much change uh, the rules of the game whenever the streamer is streaming the game on Twitch. Uh, it's an okay game. I jumped into it. It's not the best looking game, but I can kind of understand where they're coming from. They want to show the beauty of interaction between broadcasters and streamers and, um, their audiences while playing the game. I get that. Uh, it's not that great of a game, but hey, it's free and it's normally 20 bucks on Steam, so you're getting a $20 game for free on top of all that other sh now, on top of all of that, you do get the Amazon Prime already existent discount, which is about 12 bucks if a game is coming out or if a game came out within the past two weeks that you did want to purchase. Instead of it being 60 bucks, it's 48 bucks, and of course, you get that Amazon Prime free two-day shipping. And if you pre-order, you get the game on the day of its release, and you never really have to worry about leaving the house if that's something that does appeal to you. And uh, while you're waiting on that game to get there, you can enjoy your Twitch chat with a new badge, which does kind of show that you are a Twitch uh, Prime subscriber, and a couple of emotes which are good for those that really do enjoy Twitch. Now the big thing for me is a free channel subscription to any one of your choice that you can use month after month. Now I do want to kind of break down how this works. Uh, pretty much a subscription is something that you can give to a partner channel that pretty much just supports that channel. You know, it gives the streamer I believe directly $3 and then it gives Amazon slash Twitch too, but that's beside the point. It's a great way to show your support. You get a couple of bonuses in chat, etc, etc. Now it normally costs 5 bucks, but you're getting one for free. It's pretty much just free money that you can choose who it goes to, and I really, really Really like that uh, but to show how it directly affects the streamer itself or his self or herself whoever they identify with in 2016 uh, check out nerd cubes little revenue model right here now this is what he made on twitch over the course of the past couple of days I suppose whatever it represents uh, but purple equals subscription light purple equals ad revenue and blue equals the revenue from twitch prime and needless to say when this thing hit it hit hard a lot of people subbed because not a lot of people are willing to dish out five bucks every month but if they really really enjoy someone's content and they're given the opportunity to give that person free money chances are they'll take it now of course on top of all of this you get the free two-day shipping included with amazon prime you get access to prime video access to prime music which are pretty much uh spotify and netflix all in one uh you get tons of kindle stuff if you're a reader that does enjoy reading digital ebooks there is so much stuff included with amazon prime that now with Twitch baked into it, it's pretty much the only subscription or at least the most valuable subscription that I have right now. It is insane how great this thing is. 
Now, overall, there is literally nothing bad I have to say about Twitch Prime, aside from the fact that larger channels that use sub-only mode and uh, they have a lot of passionate fans, that's pretty much useless now. The chat is crazy, especially in chats like Kinda Funny and Lyric. Subs are crazy right now. Uh, now, is that going to level out later on down the line whenever people start, uh, you know, using their subs for different stuff? Probably. But right now, the larger channels are absolutely insane. But for those who can't afford it, you don't necessarily need it. You can still enjoy Twitch the same way you always have. You don't have to have Twitch Prime. It's just a great little perk for those that already have Amazon Prime or that wanted a little bit more out of Twitch Turbo. Uh, which brings me to my next point. Twitch Turbo is a great launch pad for this kind of thing, but this is literally taking Twitch Turbo and turning up the volume on it and making the service what it should have been to begin with and then throwing a whole bunch of perks in there on top of it. So for those that wanted to learn more, you can head over to twitch.amazon.com slash prime. I will put that right here. You can head over there, check out a much more in-depth breakdown than I gave of what is included with the subscription service, and you can even choose to subscribe there or link your Amazon and Twitch accounts if you do already have Amazon Prime, but it's definitely worth at least considering subscribing to just because of the sheer amount of content you have access to, the perks with games, the free games per month, the perks in, Am in Twitch, so much stuff, you should really think about getting this. It is great. So there you guys have it. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, drop me a like down below and share this video on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, MySpace, you now, social media across the board. Get my name out there, spread the channel, and if you happen to be new here, uh, please check out some of my other content. I do upload new stuff like three or four days a week, depending on the weekend. I'm streaming on Twitch, which should be right there. Uh, but as for right now, I want to thank each and every one of you guys for watching this particular video. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.